So now let's try a slightly more complicated shape. This is a composite solid made up of a square base prism and a cylinder on the end. In fact, I think the volume is going to be easier to work out, but let's stick to our routine and do the surface area first. To work out the surface area here, there's only one spot that's going to be tricky, and that's right here. All the rest is quite straightforward. I'm looking for another colour. Looks like I'm using pink. Okay. So on the top we have a rectangle, on the bottom I have the same rectangle. On the front I have a rectangle, and on the back I have the, whoops, the same, not a new number please. On the back I have the same rectangle. On the left hand edge here, the left hand side is one shape. But here I've actually got a different shape. What I'm going to have to do is work out that rectangle and then subtract that circle. So let me label it that way. Circle is number four. And then there's the curved surface of the cylinder for me to work out as, as well. Area one is 14, 14 by 14. Of course, it's a square. And I'm not absolutely confident of my 14 times tables, so I'm just going to get my calculator and double check. 196 square centimetres. Okay, area two. Area two is going to be 14 by 22. 14 by 22, which is going to be 308. That was pretty messy. Try and clear that up a bit. 308. Okay. And area three. Remember, we're doing the rectangle, ignoring the circle for the moment. Just the rectangle, ignoring the circle. Well, that rectangle is going to be 14 by 22. Of course, it's a square, so it's going to be the same as number two. I could have labelled it the same, actually, if I thought ahead. So it's 308. Okay, let's work out four. Four is a circle. Area of a circle is pi r squared. Notice I didn't bother writing length times width for the formula for the area of a rectangle, but I am going to bother for a circle. It's a bit different. Okay, what's the radius of that circle? Well, it's six across, that's its diameter, so its radius is half of that, 3 squared. Okay, pi times 9 is 28 point... Oh, how many decimal places? Let's go for 2 again, our usual number. 27, it's 274, so I ran it down to 27 square centimetres. That only leaves us with this curved surface. Remember, it's a cylinder. If I unfold it, I'm going to get a rectangle. So let me draw the rectangle. It's just a rough sketch. So the length of that rectangle, sorry, and get the right words, I'm going to try and avoid moving it. This height of the cylinder, which is 12, becomes that length, 12 centimetres. This length of that rectangle is what part of the cylinder? It's this length, isn't it? See that? That means, oops, I can't hold it. That means it's actually the circumference of the circle. This is the circumference, pi times diameter. Well, let's work that out. 
The diameter was six, which is, I certainly don't know my pi times tables, pi times six, 18.8, and then around two decimal places, it's 849. So I'm going to round that up to 85. Now this is a length, centimetres. But before I do anything else with that number in my calculator, I'm going to work out this area. So I don't clear this, I don't use the rounded off version, I use the original version still on my calculator. The area is going to be 12 times 18.85 which is, just go times 12 on the calculator, 226.19. It's 194, so I'm going to round down. Square centimetres. Be careful. Circumference is a length in centimetres, but area isn't, sorry, yes, area is in square centimetres. I've now calculated all of those areas. So my total surface area is going to be two lots of one and two lots of two and we'll just add it on two lots of three, okay? Two lots of one, sorry, two lots of two, two lots of three. I need one extra four here, but actually I have to take away this circle because it's not exposed surface, is it? I actually want the area of this side without that circle. I'm going to take away that four again. And then add on number five. So let's work that out. Two lots of 196. Because it's complicated, I'm going to write it out. Two lots of 196. Two lots of 308. Two lots of 308. I'm going plus four and then subtracting it again. So I actually don't want it at all. Plus number five, 226.19. Which when I ask my calculator, add on two times 196, two times. One eight five zero point one nine square centimeters. Okay, so let's work out the volume then. Do you know what? The volume is actually going to be much, much easier because the volume of this shape is just the volume of the rectangular bit plus the volume of the cylinder, and each of those is a prism. So this one is going to be 14 by 14 on the base. Maybe I should write a formula for you. Area of base times height for the rectangular bit plus area of the base times height for the cylinder. Okay, 14 by 14 multiplied by 22 plus the area of this, well actually, this is my cylinder, right? So the base is actually the circle. That's number four. 28.27, and the height is the height of the cylinder, which is the 12. And it's time for my calculator again. 14 times 14 times 12, no, 22 plus 28.27 times 12, which is 4651.24 cubic centimetres. See how the volume was actually less work than the area. And even though I didn't need the area of the circle in the end for my surface area, because it cancelled out, I added it all and took it off again, Nevertheless, I can still use that calculation for the volume.